Hi. Now in the last part of this question then we've got to find the equation of the circle and to do that I'll just remind you what the equation of a circle is first of all. What we've got is x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals the radius squared where x1 y1 is the coordinates of the centre of the circle. So we've got to uh, use this form of the equation of circles. So we just kind of this is what you'd you, this is what you'd be thinking. Okay. So how do we get the centre of the circle? Well, we know that PR is a diameter, and so the centre of the circle obviously has got to be the midpoint, the midpoint between P and R. I'll just update the coordinates of R. We found out that A was 13, so we'll put that in there, that it's 13, 4 as the coordinates for R. So to get the centre, being the midpoint, we just need to do the mean of the x and y coordinates. So to get the centre, we'd need to do 13 added to minus 3, 13 add minus 3, and divide that by 2 and do 4 add 2 and divide that by 2. So it would be the mean of the x coordinates and y coordinates and that's going to give 5, 3 as the centre. So we'll just put that in there that the centre has coordinates 5, 3. So we've got our x1, y1. All we need to do now is get the radius squared. And to do that, you could work out the distance between P and R to get the diameter and then halve it to get the radius R and then just square it. But what I prefer to do in this question is to work out the radius straight away from thinking about the triangle in here using Pythagoras' theorem. R squared would be equal to this side squared plus this side squared the distance between two points. So that's what we're going to do next. So we have the radius squared, so we have r squared equals, and it's going to be the difference in the x coordinates for this side squared, so that would be 13 minus 5 all squared, plus the difference in the y coordinates for this length, 4 take away 3 all squared, so if you work that out, you're going to have 8 squared plus 1 squared, so that's 64 plus 1, and that's 65. So the radius squared is 65. There's no need to square root this to get the radius, because when we go to the equation of the circle, it asks for r squared. So we're in a position then to say that therefore the equation of the circle Right, the equation of the circle is, and what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be x minus x1, which is the centre of the circle, 5 squared, plus y minus y1, that would be the 3 here, all squared, equals the radius squared, so that is 65. So, they have the equation of the circle. You don't have to expand it, uh, you're not going to get any extra marks if you expand it, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this question.